Chef make me great. Let's get it, baby. I'm in the kitchen. I'm trying a new recipe. I'm on a keto diet. I lost about 27 pounds in two months just eating the right food. Keto is a great diet if it fits your lifestyle. It's not as convenient, but you want to check with your doctor or a medical specialist to see if it works for you. But it's working for me. So I'm getting ready to make some chicken crust pizza. And the dogs in the background excited. Let's get it, baby. I'm going to show you how I do it. Let's get it. Okay, so the first step to the chicken crust pizza is using a pressure cooker. This is a pressure cooker slash air fryer, but it's good. It gets the chicken all soft. You just put some chicken breast. In my case, I like thighs better, so I use some boneless chicken thighs and put it on there for 20 minutes. Don't season it. Just put it in a little water and it comes out like this. And we're gonna shred this chicken. Now, it's not looking too sexy right now. But you gotta bear with me. You gotta stay with me and you're gonna see what I'm gonna make. For those trying to lose weight and just be on a healthy lifestyle, keto is high fat, low carbs. So it's not healthy if you're going in and out. But if you, you fellas out there wanna have a hoochie daddy summer, I'm gonna show you how to do it. So I'm gonna shred this and greater coming later. Let's get it, baby. Woo! All right, so now I got the chicken, the shredded chicken in the bowl. Uh, it's pulled apart. I added. I'm from Louisiana. I like Tony's, but this, in this case, I use a little slap your mama because this piece is gonna be so good, you are gonna wanna slap your mama. So I put some of that in there, Italian seasoning, and this is a substitute sweetener, stevia. It is uh, zero sugars, zero carbs. It has a little weird taste. You know, I, I want a little sweet kick to my pizza. If you, if you don't like it, you just don't like it. So I put three drops in there which is equivalent to three tablespoons of sugar. A little goes a long way, so you don't have to put too much in there. And then I'm going to add some Parmesan cheese for all you smart people. I know it's Parmesan, but I'm being fancy. I'm gonna add some Parmesan cheese in here. And what I'm gonna do, I'm showing it to you right now. This is the shredded chicken with the eggs. I'm gonna mix all this stuff with my hands and make a big chicken ball of dough. So you're gonna see what's up, cause greater coming later, let's get it. So I already mixed up my dough, which is really chicken, Parmesan cheese, and all the ingredients that I previously displayed. Now what I'm going to do, I have to flatten this out in the shape of a pizza. So I have my rolling pin, I'm gonna flatten with my hand, I have some parchment paper. And what I'm gonna do is just press down on it, and when I get it flat, then I'ma roll it out and then I gotta shape it because you know, I'm, I'm a perfectionist. I want, I want a perfect circle. So we gonna get it. So next time you see this, when we come back, it's gonna be a perfect circle. Let's get it, baby. Woo. As you can see, pure perfection, baby. It don't get no better than it. It just don't get no better. Now, what I'm gonna do next, I'm gonna transfer it to a piece of pan. Now you wanna use non-stick foil. So I have none stick fork because you have the egg and all that when it cooks, it can the fork and stick to it. You're gonna put it in the oven on 400 degrees for about 20 minutes, 18 to 20 minutes. You just look at it and you want to get it to uh, whatever golden brown or if you want a little bit darker. It just depends on your flavor, your taste, your swag, whatever. So I'm gonna put this in the oven for about 20 minutes and we're gonna see what the final product looks like. I'm excited, man. Chicken pizza, perfect circle, let's get it. All right, and the crust is out of the oven, as you can see. And it has a little crisp to it. There's a little color in it. I'm gonna add some tomato sauce. Now this is, I use this no salt tomato sauce. It only has uh, three grams of carbs in it per serving. I also mix some garlic powder with it. And then I have some pesto sauce that I put in there. So I'm gonna dress the pizza up a little bit and you're gonna come back and see the final product. You just wanna put it on there and just stir it around. So, greater coming later, what we gonna have? Coco, stop all that noise. Let's get it, woo! Okay, now I have the pizza dressed. Now, since the crust is 100% meat, a little cheese, you really don't need any meat. I made a veggie pizza, but I'm greedy. I put pepperoni on top. I'm just doing the most like I normally do. So I have uh, red and yellow bell peppers, red onions, I call them purple onions because they're really purple. Uh, I have some spinach, you don't see it, it's at the bottom of the cheese so it can stick. Uh, some black olives and pepperoni, this is about it. So what I'm gonna do is put it in the oven on 400, 
for eight minutes and you're going to see the final presentation. And it's going to be so good, you're going to want to slap your mama. I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm about to eat some pizza. Let's get it. Woo! And Coco's upset in the background because where's the pizza? I told her it takes time. So let's just see what's going to, uh-oh, something happening. Let's see what this looks like. I'll be right back. Down came the wow. pizza. And it's done, baby. Woo! All protein with some veggies. It's a good snack, but it's gonna be my dinner. Let's eat, baby. Let's get it! Chef Nate eat great. I hope you enjoyed this recipe. Woo!